Okay, so there was a question on that last segment uh, relating to the nature of the determinant of the rotation tensor that shows up in the polar decomposition. And here was the question, right? Um, in the polar decomposition, so when we write F equals RU for our right polar decomposition or indeed for our left polar decomposition. Since the same R shows up on both sides, okay, uh, what is determinant of R? Okay. It's easy enough to do here. Uh, the determinant of R is simply the determinant of F uh, U inverse, right, which is determinant of F, determinant of U inverse, okay? Now, um, we know that the determinant of F is positive and that comes from the, the local impenetrability of matter. The determinant of U inverse is uh, equal to 1 over determinant of U. But by construction, because we chose u to have positive eigenvalues because we wanted to keep the stretches positive, it follows that this term also is greater than 0, okay? So it follows that determinant of r, um, I'm sorry, this is getting clunky, but you, I think you can follow. Determinant of r is indeed greater than 0, which implies that in fact, you could, I, have not, I have not quite demonstrated it explicitly, but you may have picked up the fact that the determinant of u is actually the same as the determinant of f, okay? So these two cancel out on the right-hand side, and we do get that determinant of r is equal to plus or minus 1. In fact, determinant of r is equal to 1 in this particular case, right? The, 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 the particular rotation tensor belonging to SO3, which shows up in the in the polar decompositions has determinant equal to 1. In general, a tensor belonging to SO3 can have determinant plus or minus 1, but the one showing up in our polar decompositions used in continuum mechanics has determinant 1. 